augmentation mammoplasty, breast augmentation, boob job, call it what you will, many women think it may be the procedure for them. I believe the procedure is as individual as each patient. Therefore, I recommend patients come in and be evaluated to discuss these following points. Patients understand that an implant will be utilized. I want patients to understand that these are safe. They have been evaluated both in the U.S. and abroad and are perfectly safe in patients. You cannot be allergic to them, even if they were to unfortunately leak. We can get to that later. Implants are man-made, so patients need to understand they may require an additional procedure at some point in their lifetime. Or to put it another way, they don't last forever, but for many patients they last many, many years. Implants will change the shape of a patient's breast, both in and out of clothing. They don't change everything about the breast, such as the breast skin, they don't change the nipple position, but they certainly can make the breast look better. Many patients report confidence, femininity, their self-image all improve following such a procedure. That probably explains why it's usually the number one or number two cosmetic operation done in America today. What should a woman not expect following this procedure? It does not change your risk of breast cancer. Whether increased or decreased has nothing to do with breast augmentation procedures. The appearance of the skin may look better initially due to swelling, but any stretch marks or blemishes does not change after the procedure. There may be improvement in the position of the nipple areola, but any asymmetries will persist after surgery, except for maybe differences in breast size. Frequently, by using two different size implants, we can change those differences so the breast is the same within a bra or bathing suit. Come in and discuss the many different components to breast augmentation surgery. Which implant, what style implant, whether to put the implant above or below the muscle. So many questions. Come in, let me discuss with you and try to simplify the decision to make your implants the best decision that you could make for yourself. Thank you.